Well, health experts say sleep is one of the first thing that goes during times of crisis. Right now, sleeping can feel harder than ever. Our Christina Laurie is live from her home this morning to explain what to do when you're lying in bed and you just can't sleep. Well, this happens to me every night, Christina. You just can't shut your mind off. How do you do it? It's a terrible feeling, Susan and Leah, but you're most certainly not alone. Even people who've never had problems sleeping before are struggling right now, according to health experts, and a lot of that has to do with anxiety. If you want a better night's sleep, experts say don't worry in bed. If you've spent more than 10 minutes worrying at the end of the day, it's not time to take your brain and your body somewhere else. Doctors I talk to suggest having a nest set up in another room with a book, a podcast, or restful music, no TV or phones to read or listen when you can't sleep. Sleep experts are also fans of mindful meditation and breathing techniques because those help you focus on the now instead of worrying about the future. I'll put links on our website to free meditation websites and apps to try, but here's one work that worked for me. If you're new to this, you lay on your back with one hand on top of your stomach, one hand on top of your heart. You inhale deeply through your nose for four to six seconds like you're blowing up a giant balloon. And when your lungs are full, pause, then slowly exhale through your nose. Pause again when your lungs are completely clear and repeat this until you feel like you're finally ready to sleep. Last tip, if you know that your mind tends to race around bedtime, try to set aside 15 minutes, say earlier in the day, and leave that to be your worrying time. Anytime other than that, make sure you train your brain not to go to that darker place. Or if you want a more positive method, try this. I have a little positivity journal I talked about in the last half hour, so I went and grabbed it. It just has, it's called one line a day and you just open it up and you write, this is just like for one, one year, if you can see that. It's just like a sentence or two about something good that happened in your day. And then this is a five year journal, so. You can oh. go back and compare, and hopefully the next three years in my journal will be more positive than my <laughs> entries recently, oh. but that'll, that'll still be TBD. Christina, that's such a great idea. It is a great let's idea. Let's take a second. Let's all name something we're grateful for. Mm -hmm. I am grateful for you guys. You're helping Aww. me wake up every morning a little bit more positive every day, so that's, that's my so great idea. Right back at you.